Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we're playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. As we wait for it to load here, I'll just take a little moment. I do wonder what that what that padlock thing on the right is all about. So last time we uh, beat the crap out of a huge robot, destroyed his flame clock, and now everyone here actually sees us as people rather than amorphous black blobs of evil and hatred. And are you okay there, Tyon? <laughs> Stop doing that. So uh, this time we're probably going to start heading towards Sword March, but um, before we do anything, one, we're going to switch to, I think, Lands. I don't know that we've played as Lands yet. I also forget what class he is, but we'll figure it out. It'll be a surprise. I mean, I could totally figure it out from what he's wearing right now, but you know, that's not how I roll it. Wait, what? Dungeon. Oh. Hi. We're talking about us. Alright. Also, you're a person I haven't talked to yet. Anyway, now let's no do camp stuff. On empty batteries. Starting with level up. And with the press of a button, we should all be yep, level 20. Nice and even again. I definitely feel stronger. I like how that's their idea of training. They just kind of swing their weapons at each other. Clean your body, clean your mind, I guess. I guess so. All right, let us go ahead and uh, progress the story. I think you're obsessing with that. Another bit thinner, I think. Way too much on your uh, <sighs> thing. Best bath ever. Hmm? You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty one. What? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again. I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. They are totally are a you, thing, aren't uh, they? Embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to be. Miss Ethel thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath would be empty. Ah, yes. I did know that. I guess maybe I will take a dip. A girl. <sighs> okay, don't wait for me. All right then. Have a good one. And good night. Yeah. Good night, Sana. They should be finished clearing the landslide soon. We'll be able to set out to Ruby Flats. Colony Falls engineers are excellent. They took care of that faster than I thought they would. I guess I'll be saying bye-bye to Colony Fall. 
Beth and the others have been good to us. I'd like to see her before I go. Yeah, I want to do that too. I guess we all should. Let's go, Mop Command. Solving colony folks' problems will deepen your affinity with them. This can be done by completing quests, filling collectopedia card requests, etc. Raising your affinity with a colony grants affinity bonuses that make your adventure easier. Go to party skills, affinity bonuses to see the bonuses you have unlocked. Oh, it's not going to force us to do it. Alright, well I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, those seem like pretty neat bonuses. Mop on caravans to visit them. Like they're they're not like game breaking or anything. But uh they're kinda nice you will have. Also these traversal skills, I wonder what those are. Alright. But anyway, before I do that, there's a couple of question marks around here, and I do want to address those. And they are a little out there, aren't they? Oh, that's pretty good haul there. Um, Something hmm. so valuable here. Let us uh, yeah, what's the button for map? What is the button for map? <laughs> This okay, it's probably just like a little spot that I missed out on or something. Anyway, it doesn't look like we're getting to that question mark, but let's see if we can get to this other one. There's a shiny. The meat meat. Right. This is Tyon's one. Which makes me a healer. Crap. If I can't actually get to this question mark, like the, it, the worst case is I just kind of fast travel back and it's not a big deal. It kind of looks like that's what I'm going to end up doing here. Now, well. Yeah, I don't know where those are, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, we're almost at affinity level two. I would like to get to level two before leaving colony four. This promise. Is it silver coat? Yeah. Even a dirt rack, it's still Ethel's partner, I bet. Hmm. 
Oh, I wasn't expecting to find a container, but you know. Rewarding exploration. I am totally down for that. Once you enter the office, you'll be unable to include Ethel in the party. Actually, because I think that there might be a quest that we can do. Because there is a thing that we can discuss. Hey, this. Listen to this, will ya? Looks like reckon the flame clock isn't enough to make it, everyone be like us. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the clock, but everything apart from that stays the same. I guess it's just, I guess it's just us that can interlink, change blades and so on. What a shame though, isn't it? The trick with using other blades is pretty sparkling useful. Sans, have you gotten comfortable with using Senna's blade yet? Yeah, more or less. I'll tell you this though. Bashing enemies around that thing is a real bloody kick. Oh hey, here's a thought. Why don't we all try using Senna's blade at once? Offense is the best defense, right? We'd be done in no time. Done and dusted as husks on the ground, yes. What do you mean? Attackers like Sinner can only focus on the offense when they've got a defender to cover them. You have to maintain a balance in team composition. Going all, going all in on any one role will only risk two of defeat. Ah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You're right. Exactly as you say. Here's what we do then. Tyon, you do the, the defender thing, and everyone else grabs Sinner's blade. Better, yeah? Why are you even listening to me? Or does the word balance have too many syllables for you? Okay, so that wasn't actually a okay. quest, that was only some discussion. Next on the list is... Which... Still kind of silly discussion. Well, all right. Um, I guess we are just gonna progress the quest then. It's not like we'll. It's not like Ethel is going to be like completely out of our reach. Is we won't be able to use her specifically, but we'll still be able to use her class. It's nice of the game to warn us, like, this is the point of no return, after this we can't have Ethel in our party anymore. And that's okay. I have to ask, before you go, why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. At this point, I suppose, it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once. And yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized. But that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now every one of us has to. There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now you're pushing forwards towards a common goal. And that, that might be all we want, and all that we wish the world could be. 
what we wish it could be. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, are you sure? Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? Because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the consul, we can say he died in an accident. And you can't do it remotely. Now that the consul and flame clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies too. And what if, what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it, really. Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path. Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. I suppose. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. But listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. Kevis or Agnes, that goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would... Well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do. Even within this colony, many still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight. As you'd expect. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? <sighs> yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes, for the greater good. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. Ouroboros, huh? If only we could have been there as well. We should check the road data again. Make sure we're on the right path. We're on for if we're on course for some lunch. But first we'll need to take the southeast road through Ruby Fox. <coughs> ah yes. That's the route that's the route that Ethel recommended. Correct. She said the battle friends are pretty stuck static at the moment. But do we have intel about the colony deployment? As far as Ethel and Colony Fall is concerned, we got a pretty good idea. Well, what about any others? I wouldn't expect any shenanigans all the way out there. In any case, we must let our guard down along the way. Danger could be lurking, lurking any. Danger could be lurking anywhere in the background. So when security stops us, not much, not much we can do about that. Though. Oh, come on, man! Little battle through. Let's hope so. Hey, I mean, if we run into another colony, it isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, are you sure about that? It doesn't matter if we run into Agnes or Kevus. Either one uh, would mean getting into a desktop. True, 
but what I meant was, if we destroyed their flame clock, we'd set everyone free and make a for Colony 4. Easy to say. Well, sure, I mean, if conditions allow it. If we're brushing off embers, we'll have no choice in the matter. That's right. Hey, maybe it's we if maybe it's better if we put off worrying about that until the time comes. You're really speaking sense there. True. You can just react to events as they happen, play it by ear. Gotcha! I'll apply myself to that. Liberating colonies. Destroying a colony's flame clock will liberate it from the console's grasp. Once liberated, the people are free to act like uh, to act how they like, opening up new info fragments to play. Every time a colony is liberated, the warding level of its nation, Kevis or Agnes, will increase. The warding level for each nation can be checked in the main menu. As the threat level increases, so too will the number of soldiers from each nation deployed onto the field. Interesting. Oh, here is the affinity chart. You can check how various people in the colony get along with each other by using the affinity chart. It also shows you a basic profile for each person. Let's go check that out, I guess. Commander like no other, indeed. So what's that text at the bottom? Blue chain, pillow shroom, misty asparagus? We don't know a whole lot about the people here, let me tell you. Ah, but we can, if we have the materials, fill out stuff for the Collectopedia, which we don't have any materials enough to actually do that right now. Potato? The sequel to Potato here? Alright. We almost have enough for this, but yeah, we don't, uh, we don't have enough for any of this, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Enough on caravans. Uh, it even tells us, like the first thing that we get here is, is slow digestion, then shiny hunter, then item retriever, then silent steps, then shiny hunter. Okay. And we still actually need to like liberate this colony and this colony. Oh. This colony may like there is a there's a chance that it may have um been dealt with All right. Well, I guess let's head out. Actually, I'm not really feeling the, um, the healer role. I kind of want to damage one. Oh. Good thing I checked this screen. Okay, so if I want to damage one, uh, right now my options are Noah, 
um, Neo. Not Ethel. That's not Ethel anyway, that's Uni. Ethel just left for the... yeah. The other option is time. But first, we have some things to assign. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So I think like the best way to do this is you look at because I think it's kind of a mix of the two attacks. So you want as much diversity as you can manage. So this is a front AoE which boosts aggro by 50%. And now also uh, evades enemy attacks. Uh, this is a one target attack with top. Hit. Which also inflicts sleep. This is a one target attack with break. Which also knocks back. This is in the AoE heal. I don't know how well that'll work, but I feel like my options are a little bit more limited there. Here I only have the one other option for each, which makes the decision process very simple. Uh, do I get an extra accessory? That's a level 30. Alright. Uh, I do get an extra gem. Give me a sec here. This is kind of going with the obvious choices for most of these.
There we go. That'll do. Okay. Okay, why am I sending? Let's be Tyon. Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Yeah, darn right you are, Senna. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice of you to join us. Also, there is something that is requesting our attention over there. Hey. Okay, there's also you. Basically, it's what, uh... This is our first time here, isn't it? Is, it's what we had in mind to do in the first place. Keep out of, uh... 
Kevesian Agnium fights as much as possible. And also, Ethel kind of second, seconded that emotion. There you go. Ruby Flats. Here we are. We've never been here before. By the way, this game is gorgeous. Just thought you should know that. Mimi, if we keep going this way, we'll end up in the desert. But basically what you're saying is, no, don't go that way. What's going on here? A murder of Turkins or a lounge of Ignas. Not gonna lie, I kind of want those colony four points. <laughs> I just heard three separate people yell out days. Let's just kind of take a moment and just kind of enjoy this beautiful area and also go kick some ass. don't think this is necessary. Oh, you do you, I guess. Okay, maybe it was a little more necessary than I thought, because, uh... We're kind of eating crap here. Nothing a bit of 
teamwork couldn't waves. handle. That was a unique there. Level 20 unique. I don't know if I want to mess with them. Level 18 shiny though. It's like night time now. Oops, they found us. Yep, as usual, the wolves are all bombs. The shiny. I want the shiny. It is gonna let us have it? Oh, that's nice of you. Looks like maybe a container over there. guys are aggressive. Gotcha. Get up there. Oh dear. Oh, get up there. Get out of my way, you jerk. Yeah, that's it for you. Shape. Um, knew you had it in you, Mimi. Please work with me a little. You what? You're supposed to be following me. Yeah, that one went a little rough. Huh. And I honestly don't know how I feel about. This level 20 large chungus. I do know how I feel about. Oh, you're an elite. That might complicate things a little bit, but we're still going to go send this guy off. From downtown, look at you. Uh, 
Uh, give me a sec, Jewel. I'm going to make sure that I'm not in danger. <laughs> I'm very much in danger, in fact. Unfortunately, uh, Yuni's holding out pretty decently. Mio, however, is kind of eating shit. What? Why did you turn in my direction, you jerk? Oh, let's follow suit. Why not? Okay, so now that that's settled... And stretch. <sighs> okay. And also hydration achieved. Also, hey, Jewel. You missed the part at the beginning of the stream where no one could hear me or the game. Oh crap. This is not gonna end well. But I'm gonna try it. Now that, now that we've been drawn into it. That break didn't really work out. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you're a little bit more uh, professional than I am. But I'm gonna say, I have a better stream layout than you do. Also, hey, Jay, pop. So far, this isn't going terribly. And then I say that, and then that happens. Muni is not in great shape. We need some heals. I'll wait until interlink like 2 and then I'll pop uh, I'll pop that. There it is.
and draw damage. Oh, Yumi is uh, dead. I am not in great shape either, now I'm dead. Okay, chain attack, let's go. Ah, uh, Lance is down. That's not the best time to do a chain. Okay. Looks like it doesn't matter whether I pick uh, Uni or Tyon. It's gonna have the same completion bonus. Attack, let's go. I can't topple right now because I don't have a break, so let's do that. Yeah, all right. Um, I don't know that I would call this solo MMO style. I would... It's definitely an action RPG, but I wouldn't really call it MMO-ish. Um... Yeah, let's go with Bombshell Blitz. Front Blowdown and Days. Side Attack. And I will have the attack back. Us. Boom! 65 plus 25%. I don't think I'm on the side, so I'm gonna go with this. Where's another one? We're not doing a whole lot of uh, whole lot of damage here. Let's be honest. Yeah, let's go with the uh, lightning quick. Um. Finally, because we're definitely not breaking 100% this time. Four the heels. So that took a chunk off, but I'm worried it's not really enough. Especially now that both of our both of our healers are dead, uh, we gotta go. Well, that sucked. All right, let's do something a little more manageable this time. I think this will uh, level our affinity up with Column 4, so we'll see that. Right. Sorry, we don't have any Canadians in our party. Also, Colette is not Canadian. There's a difference between A and A.
That's the old one. Ah, crap. I wanted to do that as a, uh, as a fusion, but, uh, I wasn't holding ZR, so... That didn't boost our affinity. Well, it, I mean, it went up, but it didn't level up. Level 45! No thank you. A container, A container yes, but uh, this level 19 Elite, too, just definitely going after us. Oops, they found yep. Us. This should be substantially more manageable, though. Break. Top over. Two or three people going for the days. The job class breakdown of my crew top to bottom. Um, DPS, DPS, tank, DPS, heal, heal. Like I guess yeah, there there is a little bit of a bit of MMO elements in this, but you don't have all of the stuff that you get in an MMO. Like there is not like 50 skills that you need to like level up necessarily. And also, as far as I know, there's no fishing. Of course, who the hell knows? Okay, so now this container. Get up there, Tyon. But uh, yeah, the classes actually are interchangeable. <laughs> As you can see, we have um, a lot of crap that we can unlock. And so far we've unlocked this one. So literally every everyone can be anything in this game. Actually, I hadn't looked at the uh, at the class screen since uh, since unlocking uh, Silver Crota for the class. So I didn't I didn't realize how many things there were in that list. <laughs> I forget how many classes uh, Final Fantasy XIV has. I do know that I was uh, I was playing the demo for a while back when the cap, the, like the demo cap was 35, and I had as a goal to get every single class to 35. Uh, unfortunately, my internet ran out before I could actually do that. Also, holy crap, we have way too much stuff on us. And we're gonna die. No. I didn't realize we were getting completely mobbed. You know, Final Fantasy XII is uh, 
guess we should just head to Elsie's spout then. Sort of a side story to Final Fantasy Tactics, but it, it's not an MMO. 11 and 14. Ooh. Well, advantage of dying there. We uh, we didn't spot Good this evil channel before. Oh, the... Yeah, okay. It's not working because the program isn't running. There we go. Um, and also, let me go ahead and refresh this. Now it should be working. See, that's why I need you people to show up at the beginning of the stream so we can catch those things before I start recording. Because I'm bad at this. What was that? Five bits, thank you. A murder of Turkins or a lounge of Ignis. Well, we've been helping the Turkins so far, and we're not getting anything special out of the way, so let's just keep on seeing this. Professional test. Yes, indeed. But it's kind of interesting how uh, how they explain the class system because when you start the game, you only get to, to play the the, like, e the class that each character actually is, so you don't get to change classes. But um, through being interlinked through the Albora system. Um, we can now kind of trade classes. Oh, you see me in action, Mimi? Sure I did, Sana. You look great. I have no alert sounds. I hear them. That's good to know that you don't hear them. Hmm. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I think I know how I can fix this. I think that might work. See, I didn't know, Jewel. Like, I hear it. Just that... I... Like, no one ever told me they didn't hear it, so I didn't know to fix it. Anyway, it should work now. I could also go to the Stream Elements page and actually... Um actually run a test, but that would require even more time. Although, there we go. Did y'all hear that? Didn't hear that either. Alright, I am going to have to figure that out later then. But thank you for the bits. Ooh, this little 46 dude again. Let's not. Oh, 
I mean, as much as that would be appreciated, Jill, I, it's not going to make any difference. Someday I will actually finish the um, the replacement that I have in mind. But the problem is right now I have too many projects on the go. Like right now I'm working on an update for the Arc Ballbot. Yeah, great timing on that intro link, guys. Let's see if there's anything interesting over there. They're on us. Orders? Oh. Hey, buddy. There's a dead guy over there that they're going to send off. And if it is a colony four then that should actually be enough to, uh, to level us up. So it's clear to me that as, like, in order to get the full uh, combo chain, I'm going to have to unlock some classes, because the six starting classes only have great topple and days. There are still two steps to that. I believe it's the launch and smash. Not sure on the name of the last one. We can't just leave this be. Go ahead and send this guy out. Not sure where the affinity for that one. Don't worry, stick to the plan. You stick to the plan, and since we're down here, run like hell. Are we gonna be able to get that shiny without getting jumped by something? Odd pointy shard. Looks like rain's on the way. Oh, so there is weather in this game. I wonder if weather will have any effect on the game though. I know it did in cross. Yeah, that is kind of neat, isn't it? Because I don't Guys, think... Hey, buddy. I don't think that's the case in, in, in any of the other games. Oh, 
Oh crap, we have two of them. Not much time to react when they jump like right that. Well, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sheet here so that I can. No, y'all keep, keep fighting. I needed to sheave in order to get back into it. Oh, you can use master skill. Definitely a good thing. Hey, you're just gonna chill? Alright. Starting to get real hungry now. Same here. I could eat a triple helping of Manana's cooking right about now. Well, maybe there's a campsite coming up here. First, though, this. Hey, over there! If you set up camp there, we'll have good visibility. I think it's time we took a break. Riku, for one, want to rest anyway. Relentless walking has left legs like numbed out sausages. Sausages indeed! Mealtime is here! Sounds good. Let's go for it, I say. Do we rest in shifts? I can take sentry duty first. Ah, oh, Mimi, let me back you up on that. Okay. Let's take a break here. Let's take... Ah! Let's take a break there. thinking those guys are so selfish selfish how you know what I mean every time we interlink they're the ones taking the lead and me all I do is watch oh that's what you mean tell me you don't think so too maybe not selfish but like hey why didn't you move that way and stuff like that yeah yeah right so, you'd prefer to take the reins? I just want to do more. Like, pull my weight. You know? <laughs> That's so you, Senna. I think it's probably fine, though. They're just being protective, I think. Like what Noah said? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure we'll get our turn. You sure? Yeah. Positive. I feel like it shouldn't be about whose turn it is. I feel like it should be about working in Ooh, sync. And that's how you're gonna get the best uh, intro link, I think. Okay, so it looks like we don't actually get to camp out. Apologies for that noise. He's a shiny though. Stay on your toes. Oh, that was kind of a cute attack, let's be honest. Uh-oh, we got two of them. Oh, 
Another one. I was hoping to get just the one, but uh... I mean, charge off on your own. Tyon, you're currently in the lead. It's not my fault. One of them was shiny. The other two came after me because I was fighting the shiny one. Oh, jeez, what the hell was that? Kevis airdrop, okay. I mean, that would be a good idea, yeah. Where did it go? It was, like, it was over there. Okay, there it is. Yeah, you see the red smoke there? It's a little hard to see at night. Can you take that side? This all right? Hmm. Maybe I will actually review my accessories because I think uh, I think we got some pretty neat. Excuse me, some pretty neat stuff here. And now we have these. We can keep that for you. Maybe better than this. Can boost block rate by 30% at 30% HP or lower? Or just boost block rate by 32% all the time? <laughs> I'll go with this. Attack stone, auto attack damage. Yeah, you can keep that. Okay, so it looks like I'm not making a whole lot of changes here. Huh? Is that? Here we go, guys. Acknowledged. Assuming combat position. Um, I'm not sure what the cap is. Oh jeez. I'm not sure what the cap is on block. There probably is one. Stand in the buff. Not be 
being careless. Oh, you, uh, like, oh, yeah, um, is block 100 per- okay, now I understand what it is you were saying. It took me a while to process that. Um, let me see if I can find out. Um, is that all display stats? I'm going to say yes because I don't know and I don't know if there's a way to like there's a button for auto build interesting I guess let's give this a try for a little bit Dang it. wasn't face inside there at the end of the break. Well, unfortunately, I can't really say much about how World of Warcraft works. Or how similar this is to that. Another 21 elite. I want to risk that. Let's give it a try. Come on, target on it. Good. Trying to draw it out here. I heard days three times there. It's kind of silly. I don't know if I would call this game simple. It starts off very simple and is definitely, in some ways, simpler than the previous games in the series. But uh, there is definitely some complexity in here, which I appreciate. Like in Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade Cross, uh, your arts were on a bar at the bottom of the screen and you had eight of them. And in Xenoblade 2, uh, they simplified it to just the four arts on the face buttons. And now you get seven because you also get the fusion arts. And technically if you, um, if you count the actual fusions themselves, that's kind of ten. And then plus the um, interlink. That's another 3, that's 13, plus the interlink, the interlink super, that's 14. So you get a lot of attack moves. Uh, 
all attack moves and like defense and just all sorts of things. Oh, thanks for smashing me out of my attack. Really? Why did you face me as I was doing that? I was trying to break. And yeah, the, uh, we only get the one accessory right now. We get another one at 30 and then another one later sometime. But they really don't start you off with much. Like, I feel like they, they don't want to throw everything at you from the beginning. They want to like get you used to the game and then here's another mechanic and here's another mechanic and here's another mechanic. It's just, it comes down to how many of them are there. Side facing right now, so I just missed that very. Come after me, and that's what you get. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Getting as much stuff here as I can. The dead guy up there. How did I get up there? Hmm. I'm gonna look over here first. Wait. Okay, no. Uh, for some reason I thought that was the goal over there, but no, this is not the goal. This is a container. Yeah. Might as well claim this. Bunching up on coins. This guy. I find it kind of weird, like, you have this whole cast of people with various UK accents, and then just this one random character in our party with an American accent. <laughs> What kind of 
Caitlin Drum sounds like a person's name, right? Okay, that's where we're supposed to go, but I want to go over here. See, there's a container over there. That's why I want to go over here. Also, this drill. Container. Let's see how much contention there is going to be on the way there. Guys, get ready to fight. Perfect time. Oh, there They just keep spawning. Oh, now we got this guy. Okay, I'm sticking to the party here because I'm pretty close to dead. There we go. Rano's well, done. There we go. Well then, let's keep going toward that container. We're gonna make it someday. Huh. Looks like we we got another bunch of skeeters here before we actually get to open it. Or maybe we just get to open it. Who knows? Well there we go. You're just gonna let us have this and leave. Thank you. What else is over here? Is this like a rare thing? Oh, so we got a potato. The sequel to potato, you see. You're gonna dig something up, aren't you? You're looking for something. Yeah, look at that. It's what? Okay. Great. Wonder what it's like inside. Well, let's go find out, shall we? Oh, that's a rare one. Shall we deal with this? Appreciate it. Fair enough. Thank you. What over here? Listen, it's hard to see in this game. Also, there are four of them. This is mildly terrifying. Also, Noah's not doing very good.
Let's try and do a cancel attack there, but I kind of lost track of myself. Now, what's on the other side of this cave? This is me. I realize this is absolutely not where I should be going, but this is where I'm going, so that's too bad. Also, hey, Sim Guy! How you doing? I don't usually see you around here. Ooh, oh, Ether Channel. Either channel. Except no, we still have some speeders to deal with. Either. Sixteen. Yeah, I haven't found anything that needs this either since the actual thing was unlocked though. Except for like making gems. Which some of them can sometimes require some casters. Got a daze. I really wish I had my super available because uh, it's overclock buster and that does extra damage while dazed. Kicker, kicker. Doing great. Oh, stop drawing aggro. I mean, it's not going to prevent you from drawing aggro. There we go. Also, Land Master is there. Couple of rank ups there too. Uh, now, what was I heading toward? I think there was, yeah, container. That's entirely the wrong way, and I don't want to fall in there. All right. it's okay. I, I'm, I'm noticing you, Jewel. What's up? Oh, stretch and posture, okay. 
Yeah, that's another thing. I need those to make noise, and those don't make noise for me. <sighs> Not sure how useful that posture is gonna be when I'm going on break in a few minutes. But thank you. Basically, let's get to that checkpoint over there, and then, then I'll be break time. Did I see? Yes, I did. Let's go deal with you. Such is the Offseer's duty. I still love that this is like an actual job. Ah, oh, my plumage is everywhere. Like literally Noah's and Noah's jobs, aside from being like an actual like position in their party is as an offseer for and for anyone who hasn't been here previously, they just literally play on their flutes and release uh dead persons ether. Elsie's spout is just a hop, skip and a jump away. Yeah, up a cliff. I mean Lance and Senna can climb this, but me, hard pass. Neo come. This little waterfall here. Probably shouldn't be climbing up this one, huh? But this is the route Ethel told us to take. No question. Well, I guess that means we'll just uh, have to keep going then. That looks uh, less than pleasant. Huh? Outside the colony? Well, yeah, I know that. It's bad. The console's searching for you. Gotcha. Just make up something. This guy's pretty Sorry, young. Look at his symbol. Oh dear. He's That's young, but he's you armed. From. I'll take a look around here. Okay, I'll check out over here. Oh, hi! Oh, crap. Guys, get back! So, remember how they said the alert uh, level would go up? Ouroboros, fight me! The Kevesi are pissed at us. So that's good. The Nopon are not affected by whatever the Ouroboros is are doing. Kind right hand. Your request accepted. Well, considering what time it is, I think we can start on that quest after the break. So we're gonna take 
about 10 15 minutes so you can uh, get a drink go to the bathroom if you need to stretch your arms stretch your legs stretch your teeth and in about um, 10 or 15 minutes we will see what this hero quest entails and also while I'm on break I will um, one deal with that hydrate that I probably missed because I don't have any water anyway so I couldn't really have done that and um, also see if I can do anything about that uh, that notification sound so I'll see you in a bit